Hi, hi. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. How Good are evening, you? Sir. Nice to see you. Let's check in the attendance, right? Did you have a nice day? Yes. Did you have a nice day? At work? Yes, teacher. Yes. Great. Who <clears throat> are here? Mm. Twenty fourth, March twenty fourth. Hey, Brian Alexander, not here. Camila Ernesto, Clarissa Maribel, Daniel Eduardo, Deborah Stephanie. Present. Elmer Antonio. Present teacher. Thanks. Eric Gerardo. Erika Joana. Erika Joana. Guillermo Alberto. Isaías Santana. Ivette Elvira. Present. Carla Vanessa, Luis Enrique, Manuel Antonio, Present Miss, Reina Estela, Reina, Reina, no Reina, Rosibel, Vanessa Victoria, Present Miss Elvina Lupita Present Miss Evelisario Antonio Belisario no here okay. Vamos a ver we are eleven mm -hmm. Not everybody is present right Musamera, I'm going to call you. Tell me present if you connected later on. Brian, Alexander, Camilo. Yes. Present Miss. Clarixa Maribel. Clarixa. Daniel. Present teacher. Solo que estaré de oyente porque estoy en el trabajo todavía. Okay, Daniel. Eric Gerardo, Erika Joana, Guillermo, Isaías, Present Miss, Carla Vanessa, Luis Enrique, Reina Estela, Rosibel, Present. Belisario Antonio Ok Bueno hmm. Ok Nice to see you Ready Ready for the last day of the week 
Yes. Eh, eh, yo también voy a estar viviente, que hay un muestreo en el trabajo. Ah, ok, Elmer. Me dijo present, vamos a ver. Sí, okay. Bueno, hoy es el último día de la semana. It's Friday. And as today is the last day, we must check platform, right? That you're complete. And remember, you got a message today saying that uh, you should finish with assignment number four, it said, right? Unit number four. Okay. Uh, good evening, Miss. Hey, hello, Enrique, ¿cómo sigue? Uh, yeah, mejor, Miss. Thank you. Quiero ver, alguien más? No, no more. So, uh, it's Friday, so we must be checking. We must be checking platform, right? Check that the platform is complete by, by when? Hmm? The message you received says that you must complete it by today, right? So be careful, check there what you're missing. Mm -hmm. Okay, just let me ask for something here. We're missing one of ten, one. Right, the seventeen. Right, I see. So I was saying, uh, today I'm going to be finishing the collection of the scores. There are still a couple of people that haven't worked the platform. I'm still missing a couple of, of things, like a midterm exam or units. A, I'm collecting by the moment unit three and I'm checking only Erika Joana, Isaías, Luis Enrique, Manuel, and Rosy uh, have unit three complete, we can say. So 80% is it's acceptable, right? By the other side, see no advance anything at all in unit number three. Remember that it is necessary, right? That you, by this moment, the, the exam, the midterm exam should be complete and the unit three should be complete too, okay? So if you're missing something, be sure that you completed by today. At the end of the class, I'm going to collect this course, right? To have my lists updated. If you want to go further, complete unit four, welcome, right? Welcome. The most you complete, better. I'm checking here, two people have already advanced in unit number four. And that's wonderful because uh, I can continue updating the list, right? And at the end, 
uh, next week when we give it the last checkout, it, everything is ready. Okay. Well, after this commercial, after this commercial, let's go work. This is our class number 15. We are at just one week to finish, right? And today we are going to talk about the simple past review and practice. Remember during the week, we have been working We have been working um, about and talking about the past. But uh, today is like the last day of the unit. So we're going to be checking the vocabulary related to the unit. And also making a review of all the ways of the forms of the past that we use, right? Mm -hmm. And the objective is participants will be able to prepare a conversation about the things they did yesterday at home or at work using the simple past in all its forms. That means affirmative, negative questions, yes, no questions, information questions, or whatever you need to use, right? Um, so, at the end, you will be able to prepare a conversation using the past. So you will be asking questions and giving answers about it. Now, let's see. Look at these questions. Did you want something to eat? Remember the structure that we were talking about in, at the beginning of the week? And the day before yesterday, when we were talking about uh, just no questions, did you want something to eat? Did your friends call you or text you today? Did you watch a movie this afternoon? And did you eat cereal for breakfast this morning? Did it rain last night? Did you go on vacation last weekend? Did they have a picnic last month? Did the store give you a discount? Okay. Um, that is a beginning of going for yes, no question. Remember here, what we answer is only oh, yes or no, right? Did you want something to eat? Yes, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Did you want something to eat? Yes, I did. Did your friends call you or text you today? You say, yes, they did or no, they didn't, right? And then we have the other questions where we are uh, asking for information. And you say, when did you live 10 years ago? Did you remember? Again, in this type of questions, remember we use the double H words, these are words that we use when we want to ask for information. And of course, the auxiliary that we cannot omit, right, in all the questions. And the verb in the base form. Yes. So you have to use the auxiliary and the verb in the base form because what is in past is the auxiliary, right? So we're going to do a little practice of the questions. So you ask the questions to your partners. It will take us just a couple of minutes. Um, and then we will discuss together. Just let me check if my WhatsApp is open here. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share the questions over there. So you take turns asking your partners just to review, right, what we have been talking about during the week. Remember to give long answers if possible.
There you go. Look at the questions in the chat. I'm going to send you to the rooms right now for you to discuss with your partners, ask and answer the questions to each other. Take advantage of the practice and review, right, of the questions we have been asking. Let me see your 14. Okay. Mm -hmm. Daniel is working. What was the other one in the right? Hmm. Bah. Okay, let's go. We let's join the rooms. Discuss, please. Ask the questions to your panels. Check if you have any questions about the topic. Teacher, eh, no logré darle unirme. A ver, ya la muevo, quiero ver. Okay. Muévame, teacher. <ríe> hey, shake, shake it. Vaya, ahí está. Clarixa, la voy a mover también. Tal vez si le aparece la llamada. Check, check. Deborah, I'm going to move you to. Hello, Miss Ayas, I'm going to move you to. Check if you can see the group now. Nice. Nice, nice. No le parece rosa. Oh, sí. <laughs> okay. Can you see the room? Bueno, voy a entrar otra vez a la sala de grupo reducido. Okay. Deborah, can you see the room? ¿Por qué mandó las que practicamos ayer? Ah, no es la de la tarea. Sí, yo sepa. Ahí, ajá. What do you? How do you? Why do you? What do you? Esa sería. Como decir, sí, no va. Porque la primera dice que querías algo de comer. ¿Cuál? La primera. Did you want something to eat? Something, something. Ah, something, something. Mm -hmm. Did you want something to eat? Something y ahí sería si sí quiero, ¿verdad? O si sí quería. Quería. Ya, yeah, Heidi. Yes, Heidi. Uh -huh. Yes, Heidi. Yes, Heidi. How 
Ahí sería de colocar el yes I did o cuando es no, ¿verdad? Sería siempre Ajá, después yes I did o no I didn't. Exacto. Ask the questions to each other. Take turns to ask the questions. Um, how do how do you how do you do how do you do? Se puede decir how do you do that? How did you do that? Yes. Uh -huh. How do you do that? Yeah. Hope you hope that you Ay Manuel se salió Belisario. Los dos que estaban aquí, Missy, creo que uno está trabajando. Ah. Yo voy en camino todavía para la casa. Ah, pues lo voy a mover a otro room. Ok, mis. Pues, eh, Enrique, se, ah, se fue Enrique ah, se le va, se va a poner, ¿está uh -huh. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. My, my friends call, sería call me, ¿verdad? Call, call me. me. Call me, call me uh -huh. or text, or, or text today. Excellent. Uh -huh. Okay. Vaya, Estela, uh, did you watch a movie this afternoon? Sorry? Did you watch a movie this afternoon? I watch um, The Porsche or The Porsche, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir? Um, yo lo de, ¿Qué vi deporte? Um, oh. Uh, Entonces no sería no no y después dice que que, que vio deporte. ¿Cuál sería el pasado? Ah, no, 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 no. El pasado de cuando había visto una película en la tarde. Ajá. Pero vio una película. como no vio dice, tiene que ser en hoy día. No hay día. I watch uh, Ajá, y que vio deporte, ajá. No, I didn't, I saw sports. Ah, sports. It's valid. Sí, verdad, es más, más fácil cambiar el verbo sí que el watch. Sí. Es que usted puede decir, eh, yes, I did, o no, I didn't see a movie, I saw sports. O I watched sports. Mm -hmm. mm. No, okay. I didn't, um, I didn't see a movie. I watched sports on television. Um, I, Isaiah, uh, did you eat cereal for breakfast this morning? Yes, I did. Hey, excellent. Uh, Elvira, uh, mm -hmm. did it? Ah, pero quién no para ella? Ah, bueno, sí, verdad. Did it rain, did it, last, night? Did it rain last night? No, I didn't. All right. Ah, ok. Eh, pero no sería no I didn't, ¿verdad, Miss? No, yo digo. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. No it, ¿verdad? ¿O cómo? Repita la pregunta. Porque la, la pregunta es... Did it rain last night? Did it rain? Did it rain, Did it rain? rain last night? Uh -huh. Did it rain last night? No, I didn't. Perdón. Did it rain last night? No, it didn't. 
No no, entiendo. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Sí, no, no lo escuché bien, perdón. Eh, Roxy Pearl, eh, did you go on vacation last weekend? I no I didn't. No, I didn't. One moment. Y ya la perdí. Sí, puede dar una respuesta larga y decir no, I didn't go on vacation. Ah, I, no, I Se didn't go on vacation la last weekend. I went on vacation. Eh, ¿Qué? The, eh, the three months month ago. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Okay. I went on vacation three months ago. Okay. Uh, Estela, did they have a picnic last month? Sorry. Did they Estela. have a picnic last month? Uh, yes, they did or no, they didn't. Did they have a picnic last month? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, they did. Oh, no, they didn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Vaya. ¿Quién más pregunta? Ha faltado una eh, para Isaiah. Did they store give you a discount? Discount. Discount. Yes, yes. A discount. 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 No, I didn't discount. No, I didn't. Give me. No, they didn't. Ah, they, they didn't. They the store. Uh -huh. Ah, they didn't. Uh, no, they didn't give me a discount. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, they didn't give me a discount. Ah, okay. Vaya, alguien más que pregunte. Esa misma. Sí, hay otra, eh, eh, mandó otra. Ahí bueno, está el también. segundo bloque de las information questions. Sí, esas me interesan porque ese fue el tema de ayer, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, las information questions. Where, where did you live 10 years ago? Where did you live 10 years ago? Uh -huh. Esas, ¿cómo se responden, Miss? Allí tienen que darme información. Where did you live 10 years ago? I lived in San Salvador 10 years ago. Uh, ok. Estas son las respuestas que vamos a dar positivas. Cuando uh -huh. es de... Ahí lo que pasa es que la responden dando información. Son information questions. Sí. Por eso se llaman information questions porque cuando usted las responde no dice yes, no, ¿verdad? Sino que da información. Entonces se responde I live y por ejemplo en ese primer caso. Uh -huh. Ok. Va, el, el, el verbo live iría el live. I lived. Tiene que poner el verbo en pasado. Uh -huh. I in the side. Okay. ¿Quién va a preguntar? No sé, ustedes. The side. The side. Vamos. Si era la pregunta, la tercera. Vaya. Enrique, ok. color do you prefer black or red? Uh, ahí sería el verbo prefer en pasado. Prefer, exacto. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, esa está en presente la pregunta, Enrique. Ah, ok. Uh, I prefer uh, the black color. Black. Okay. 
Me too. <laughs> Who ate chocolate this morning? Ayer culpamos a Karitza, ¿verdad? Sí. Sobre Clarixa y de Chaco. A mí me gusta la energía de Clarixa. Yes. Y, 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 y su manera de, 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 de tomar las cosas, pues. Eh, personas así aprenden bastante. Oh, yes. Definitely. Con la duda. Yeah. Sí, claro. Así tiene que ser. Si you have questions, ask. Eh, eh, va a iniciar desde el principio, eh, Ivette. Sí, habíamos empezado. En minutos. Ahorita íbamos, ok. Uh, hamburger. Everybody, no, not everybody here yet. Hey, I see. Okay, but any problems with these questions? No, no problem. No. Teacher, me costó conectarme y tenía problemas con los grupos. Sí, eso vi, Clarissa, que se me salía. Sí, me sacaba. No me podía este, unir con los grupos pequeños. Está mala la señal, quizá, ¿verdad? No entendí, creo que sí. Probably it will rain today. Sí. Vaya, look at these questions. Did you have any questions with this? No questions? Teacher, ahí para responder tienes que usar el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? Exactly. Tengo entendido. Exactly. Exactly. Ok, have, está bien. You have to use. For example, if we say, where did you live 10 years ago? Um, I lived in... I live. I lived con el verbo pasado. Ajá. Uh -huh. I lived in twenty-five. I lived. I live. I live in live. Mexicanos. Ten years. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you give the answer to the question. And remember that to answer the questions, what we were mentioning yesterday, is that to answer the question, you use a part of the question, right? You use part of the question to give the answer. So you see, my, my verb is live. I put that verb in the past, and then I answer the rest of the question. I lived in Mexicanos 10 years ago. Oh, you can say 10 years ago, I lived in Mexicanos, right? Because in this type of question, you're giving me information. And yes, remember yes. what we were mentioning yesterday that the expression of time can be or at the end or at the beginning, but not in the middle. So you cannot say, I lived 10 years ago in Mexicanos, it's not possible. 
okay? Because the expression of time has to be or at the beginning or at the end. What is the difference? If I want to give emphasis to the time, I put it at the beginning. But if I want to give emphasis to the rest of the information, I put the expression of time at the end. Mm -hmm. A ver, why did you decide to study English? I decided to study English. I decided to study. Because? Mm -hmm. uh, to learn, to, to more learn, or more to learn, it's more to learn. I want to learn, <laughs> I want to learn, okay. I want to learn. New language. A new language. A new, a new language. Ajá. Le podemos poner because I want to learn a new language. Because. Ok. Now, let's see the next question. Eh, which color do you prefer? O podemos cambiar la pregunta pasado. When you were a child... When you were a child, Puma, which color did you prefer? Black or red? When I was a child, Puma, Esa es mi expresión de tiempo ahí. When I was a child. When I was a child, I preferred... Voy a poner el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? I preferred... ¿Qué? Uh, the black color. I preferred... Uh -huh. When I was a child, I preferred... Yes. Any question there? No question. Mm -hmm. Bye. Oh, Vamos a la next question. Let's eliminate the ones that we already answered, right? This ones. A ver, who ate chocolate this morning? Who ate chocolate this morning? Nobody ate chocolate this morning. Mm -hmm. right, vamos uh, a Manuel, Manuel ate chocolate this morning. Ate chocolate this morning. Uh -huh. Manuel ate chocolate this morning. See? Uh, who did you call today? Today I called. Quien? Today I called. A quien llamaron? I, I called. Lupita. Okay. I called it and my sister. Okay, today I call Lupita, to call like today I called my sister. O me pueden decir I call my sister today. Recuerden que la expresión de tiempo puede llevar al principio o al final, ¿verdad? How did you get to work? I go to work by my bus, my car, by Uber. My bus. My bus. My bus. And the last question. 
What did you do last weekend? Mm -hmm. I, I can. What did you do last weekend? Uh -huh. What did you do last weekend? I worked every day. I worked last weekend. Okay. I worked last weekend. Any questions? No questions here. No? No mm. question. No, miss. Bye. And now let's go to the next uh, slide. Remember, that was your homework. I ask you to complete the questions and to write an answer to those questions, right? A ver, did you finish? Did you do the homework? Mm -hmm. Did you do the homework? Mm -hmm. No. What do you do in the week? What did you do on the weekend? Okay. What did you do on the weekend? Uh-huh, what did you do on the weekend? Mm -hmm. Buy clothes at the mall. I bought clothes. Ajá, eso le iba a decir que si sí, ahí tenemos que decir I bought. Exacto. I bought. Sí, es como las demás que acaban de hacer, ¿verdad? I bought. Vamos a poner el son. Clothes. A ver. Uh -huh. I bought some clothes at the mall. Okay, what about the next question? Uh, maybe. Did you do uh, breakfast? How did you do breakfast? ¿Qué me respondrían esa pregunta? How did you do breakfast? I I I did breakfast. Uh, I did hot. <laughs> mm? I did I did breakfast. Oh, early. Ah, pero ahí la pregunta sería what time did you do breakfast? Ah, that's when did you do breakfast? A ver, how did you? It's como. How did you do in the platform? How did you do in the platform? Uh -huh. How did you do in the platform? Give me a response. 
I did so so. Hmm? I did so so. <laughs> I did. I will. I know well in the smartphone. ¿Dónde fue ella anoche? Ah, pero ahí tendría que ser when did you do the platform? When did you do the platform? I did it last night. And how did you do in the platform? I did it. I know, kind of well. Yeah. Okay, a ver, the next question. Why did you... Why did you... Okay. Exercise. Mm -hmm. Why did you exercise? Uh, miss, miss, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, I miss and the uh, hmm? and the number two. Number two? Cuando naciste. Eh, ¿Por qué el will ahí? Uh -huh. Well. Well. Espérenme, ¿y este will qué hace aquí? Ajá. No, es que ya estamos en la... Ah, ok. En el uh, last leg. Ok. <risa> me me cortaba el cerebro. Sí, sí. No, ya estamos en las, en las last legs. Mm -hmm. Vaya. <coughs> sí, I did kind of well in the platform. Ok, number three. Why did you exercise alone? Imagine that you always exercise with somebody else, but today you exercised alone. Why did you exercise alone? Recuerden que tomamos parte de la pregunta para responder, ¿verdad? I exercised alone. Because, because, my, because my friends don't. Uh, Even que lo mandas a él sabiendo que no. My friends didn't can. Yo ejercicio. Because my friends didn't que. Eh, que no puede, cómo puedo. Oh, Podría no. ser because mm -hmm. my friends didn't come. O because my friends couldn't come, no pudieron, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan que decíamos que could es poder? En pasado, Ajá, ¿verdad? Pues, Ajá because poder. my friends couldn't come. I exercised alone because my friends couldn't come today. Mm -hmm. well. And the next one, where did you, where did you go? Uh, buy, no, shopping. No, buy está bien. Oh. Where did you buy? Esta vez mayúscula. Where did you buy? El qué? Where did you buy? Where did you buy qué? This shirt. Mm. Clothes. This shirt. Clothes. Where did you buy this shirt? Uh, I bought this shirt. Uh, in the market. I bought it. I bought it. In the market. Okay. Podemos usar el it, ¿verdad? El pronombre yeah. para sustituir. I bought it in the market. Okay. Who did you? 
Who did you touch in the party? Hmm? Who did you buy? Go, go to the party. Who did you invite? What? Who did you invite to the? I can't do. Who did you invite? A dónde? We did to invite. Podemos decir, who did you invite to the party? ¿A quién yeah. invitó a la fiesta? I. I invite. I invite. I invited. Uh -huh. I invited to party. Invited. Invited to party. ¿A quién invité? Uh, a, los, a my friends. Ok, I invited my friends. My friends. Uh -huh. party. Okay. I invited my friends to the party. Ok. Question. Mm -hmm. No questions? No. Clear like the horchata. Mm. Y eso es lo que van agregando como, digamos, por ejemplo, después, well, one did you invite to the party? Eso es uno es opcional, usted le agrega el complemento. Invite o the party. Sí, usted lo agrega, lo que usted ah, quiere ponerle. Lo que yo quiera poner, ah, ok. Sí, porque por ejemplo, si usted dice, who did you call today? Who did you have breakfast with? Who did you travel with? Who did you talk to? Who did you marry? <laughs> ¿Por quién se casó? Right? Any questions? Questions? No questions. No, Miss. Está claro como la hora chata. Eso. <laughs> <laughs> como la chata y coco. Yeah. Ok, bien, bien. Vamos. Falsa. Ok, check this vocabulary. Do you know the meaning of these words? Mm -hmm. What do they mean? Mm -hmm. What do you know about these words? Uh -huh. Do you know them? Do you remember those words? We were talking about them at the beginning of the unit. Yeah? Because it's fun, understand, explain, complain, help, request information, get prices, provide one's information, assist, buy, hold, and receive. And remember, we were talking about that vocabulary uh, referring to the activities that you do and the activities that the customer that. Yes, do you remember? Yes, okay. But now, look at these words. Try to complete them. What are the letters missing? What letters are we missing here?
I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to look at the words and complete them. Okay, and the number one. Uh, put uh, the I and C. And then P O N. Mm -hmm. P O N. And the number one is uh, I C in the first uh, word. And then P O N. I need a pen here. Hey. Number one is. What's number one? I see. Pick up the phone. Okay. Pick up the phone. P E O N. O N. Pick up the phone. Num number number two. two. P E U. U. Pui. Pui. Bye. You. What is Pui? Ah, no. B or B? B. 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 Ah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. I said Pui. What is Pui? Okay. Bye. Yes. Okay. Very good. Letters, uh, number, number three. three. C. C. A. A. Call. C. A. Call. C. A. Call. C. A. Number four. Uh, oops. G. 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 T. 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 I. C. C. Okay. Number five. Five. <laughs> X. X. Y. L. X. L. 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 I. I. M I N I N I N okay. explain Play. O number six O P P O P P O P L L I I N N explain Mm -hmm. Complain. Mm -hmm. Number seven. H. H. P. P. H. P. Yes. Help. Help. Number eight. A. A. I. I. A I is. Is. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I. Assist. Okay. Number nine. R. 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 E. E. V. 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 E. 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 Receive it. Receive. Number 10. Yes. N. N. D. 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 N. D. D. E. D. D. E. D. E. 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 E.
Ti. 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 M. M. Understand. 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 Number 10. Number 11. Number 11 you number 10. B. 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 O B. 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 B de vaca. <ríe> B. B. A, B. I. I. Ajá. Provide. O. 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 I. 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 O. 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 M. I I O O I O Provide one's information. And the last one? And the last one is is E Q Q S T Request T N M F F N F L F R R R R R I perdón R I A I A U I A Okay T T I I O O Uh huh. Request information. Very good. So you see, that is a vocabulary that we will be working with. Mm -hmm. Request information that we were working with at the beginning of the lesson, right? At the beginning of the unit. Okay. Now, let's continue with the structure. What you're going to do here is transport the negative sentences into positive. These sentences are negative, but you're going to change them to positive or affirmative. Like that's another way of saying the same thing. But I'm going to send you to the rooms. Veamos, ojalá hoy si nos podamos quedar en groups. Of. Uh, this is in your in your manual. That is page number thirty-eight. Mm -hmm. Page thirty-eight. Okay. Page thirty-eight in your manual. Let's go. Join. And remember, change the negative into affirmative sentences. There you go. Try to join. Alexa. No, no, no. Hi, hi. Lupita, Belisario, hello. Hi, Miss. Hi. Well, let's change the sentences from negative to affirmative. Okay. 
appearance by that criteria. She borrowed. Eh, página 38, sería? Sería, ¿no? ¿Sí? Mm, page 38. Así sería, ¿no? She bought by that computer. No. She bought, she bought this computer. Mm -hmm. Ajá, o for the second. Hi, hi. Vamos, Lupita. Marita, por Sí. Tú de 38, a ver. Ay, espérame, que me perdí la página. Uh -huh. Ok, clarita, no problema. I wait for you. Permítame. Ya. Permítame. Bye. De about boat. De the boat. That boat. Ajá, that computer. Ajá, she boat. She boat that computer. That computer, ajá. That computer. Va, el otro sería este we we Brought that package. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? Yes. We bring, ese no cambia. We bring that package. ¿Qué es package? Paquete. No sé. Paquete. Paquete. Vaya, el otro de, sería the client. En, la, Ajá. en la tres vamos, ¿verdad? Sí, yes, yes. The, the client, client. Yesterday. Yesterday. Sería calls, ¿verdad? Call, call. Solo le agregamos la S. La, la L. ¿Por qué? Call, ¿qué va pasando? Dijeron. La S. ¿no? Pero las íbamos a poner en positivas. Y en pasado sí. siempre. Uh -huh. Entonces tenemos que cambiar en la 2, el bring, el pasado de bring es. Por eso es. Bro. Bro es. Pero ese ya estaba, lo que se cambió. Finish, finish. No te hicieron. Um, the employees read the email. The email. Read mm. se da igual porque el pasado es read. Ajá. Ajá, solo que le, le, se le omite el, el, 
Or boss come come uh -huh. come ahí sería come or boss okay. come uh -huh. come mm -hmm. come así como está ahí no, no. come o sea en vez de la con a, a come con a ajá con a ajá uh -huh. Back. Back. Uh -huh. They they didn't cancel the meeting. The meeting. They canceled. Ese sería el verbo cancel. The lady want to complain. The lady didn't want to complain. Want it. ¿En cuál es que se mira esa palabra? Want it. Parece que es una serie o no, no sé qué. Ay, la última hay ten, I did esa creo que solo la de se le cambia por ten. la T sí, por la T por, ajá 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 yes. I sent it, the response on my... La que, la que me da cosa es la dos, chicas. No me acuerdo el, el, el... Sí, la, la, la de literal dos. We didn't write that... Brought. El verbo, Bro. el pasado. Ah, Brought. Brought, yes. Ajá, B-R-O-U-G-H. Uh, oh. HT. HT. Mm -hmm. sí. Así. Solo sí. el Ajá, ya subí. Ah, pues. Finish, teacher. Se fue la teacher. Se fue. Okay, let's go. Okay. Just waiting for everybody. Okay. 
Let's see, let's wait for everybody to come. Any questions? Questions? Questions, questions? No questions. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 any questions, teacher? No question. Okay. Eh, eran las primeras ocho oraciones. Las primeras mm -hmm. de la página 38. Sí. Yes, yes. A ver. Let's do it together. Number one, she didn't buy that computer. She bought that computer. She bought that computer. Mm -hmm. She bought that computer. Okay. She bought that computer. <laughs> the number two, we brought that computer. We, we brought that ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Package. We brought that package. That I. Mi teclado ya no me le ven las letras. Ah, ok. We brought that package. Number three. The client. The client called it just yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The client just number four. Number four. Read the email. The employee read. The Read the email. Yeah. The employees read the email. Read the email. Number five. Our boss came back last week. Our boss came back last week. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they didn't cancel the meeting. They canceled the meeting. Cancel it. Cancel the meeting. They canceled the meeting. Uh, the number seven. The lady, the lady didn't want to complain. The lady wanted to complain. To complain. Complain. I lady wanted to complain. Wanted. The phone to this man. The lady wanted to complain. Complain. Mm -hmm. Number eight. I sent the reform to this I email. I didn't send the reform, I sent. Mm -hmm. I sent the reform to this email. Check. Mm -hmm. Que no le pongo punto porque al final de la página se ve que ya está puesto. ¿Verdad? No, porque... Es bien importante siempre tener en mente 
eh, poner el punto cuando se termina una oración. Uh -huh. Any question? No question. No. No question. Okay, nice, nice. Well. Let's move to the next activity you have there. A simple past information questions. You have the word that you have to use, and then you decide what you do with it. Ready? Okay. What you're going to do here is create information questions using the verbs given. Before you go to that part, let's check the verbs, right? How you remember. Bring. What's the past of bring? Brought. 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 Yeah, bring brought. The mm -hmm. Break. Miss, una pregunta. Eh, este es el, eh, pasado, el pasado simple. Pero de begin no es become. Ay, no, pero. Que yo estoy. Mi cerebro become. está más adelante. Estoy, ah, estoy viendo okay. esta vez. Okay, bring brown. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at this one. Bring brown. Brown. Bring brown. Okay. Begin. Begun. 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 Uh -huh. Begin. Begun. Break. Brock. Brock. Mm -hmm. Brock. Buy. Boat. 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 Child. No, buy. Build. 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 What's the class of build? Build. 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 With C. With C. Mm-hmm. Choose. I don't know. Es igual, pero no sé cómo no se pronuncia con una O. Solo una O. Solo una O. Chose. Chose. Ok. Chose. Cook. 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 No sé. Cook. Cook it. Cook. Uh, cook. 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 Swim. No, swim. 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 I don't know. Swim, swam. Ah, swam. Swam. <laughs> Study. Study. Uh, Study. Study, study. Study, study. Do. 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 Speak. Mm -hmm. 
Fix box. Make. Made. Made. Dance. I don't know. <laughs> dance. Dance. Dance, dance. Dance. White. White. Oh, wrong. No, sir. No. White. Oh, white. Grow. 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 Yes. Grow. 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 Real. 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 regular Real. 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 Sound. No sé. Pignet. Ay, qué terrible. King. Y al final. Song. 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 Tell. 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 Sell. Sell. Sold. Sell. Sold. Eight. 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 La de eight es eh, mala. De la... es... Ah, espérenme. Uh, eight. El tiempo no había pasado. Ay, ay. Que me tomé una, una pastilla para la grape porque estaba destornudada en la tarde. Y estoy así como que no, soy yo, no soy yo la que está aquí ahorita. Ajá, así sí, sí, si se fijaron ya me equivoqué en varias cosas pero es que estoy ya que ya no me tuve que tomar una pastilla que va a clor no, 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 vamos a dar la vamos a dar hasta media hora libre Entonces, Esta, para la gripe y así como que hay un grupo de media hora sí <risa> Me, media hora libre <risa> recreo media hora libre. Sí. el recreo es un break sí Ay, no, qué barbaridad. Ya me tomé una vitamina porque tengo una tarea pendiente. Un hay que de mi red y hay que hacerlo ¿no? ahora. Ah. <risa> <risa> y más, <risa> check-in de plata. Así que no, démosle, todavía aguantamos otra media hora. A ver, drink. Drunk. 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 Ahí está. Nice, nice. Lo bueno es que ustedes están despiertos hoy. Sí, sí, ayer no. <risa> ayer estaba igual o, o que están más no Ay, no, qué triste. Y es que sí, eso es la tarde que estamos en exámenes. Y los okay. niños andan, pero bien, bueno, varios niños, va a desnudar y coser sobre los exámenes. Y después nos dan el examen, lo agarramos, lo revisamos y recogemos los virus que nos han tirado ahí. No, Así okay. es. Qué tremendo. Así es. Ni modo, ni sí, modo. Sí, pero lo que pasa es que hay un nivel de contaminación más grande y es el uso del dinero. Así. Ah, no, pero, pero nosotros, Luis Enrique, sí, ah. encima del examen están ellos moqueando así con su papel, moqueándose, tosiendo y estornudando sobre el examen. Ay, mi mamá. Se lo dan a uno. Y después y antes, de dar, ¿Mm? y, y antes de darle todavía le hace 
No, sí, ya, sí, ya, ya ni eso, ya ni es necesario, pero ya tosieron y estornudaron sobre los papeles un montón de veces. Y ahí están con el papelito moqueando y tocando el examen de, para cuando se lo dan a uno. ¿En qué edad tienen los niños? Eh, están en bachillerato. Ah, ya está grande, sí. Sí, ya están grandes. Entonces, para cuando a uno le dan el examen, ya es examen, ya va sí, trillendo de virus. Entonces, ahí estamos ya empezando a agarrar así con todo. Y, sí, Ay, no. y estornudando. Y les digo, yo ahora voy a dejar los exámenes en cuarentena y los voy a calificar dentro de 48 horas que ya le haya bajado un poquito la, la carga viral. Carga viral. Sí, porque sí. Y, y, y yo he sentido desde que empecé a calificar que ahí voy así, ya me agarró todo, si se acuerdan, el lunes, martes, estoy creciendo. Y hoy estuve estornudando toda la clase de la tarde y es eso. Ni modo. Ni bueno, que modo. se mejore. Pues sí, esperamos no enfermar para la vacación, porque la vacación es para, sí, no. para disfrutar, no para estar enfermo. <ríe> Vaya, hoy sí, no questions, ¿verdad? ¿No? No questions. No, mes. That's easy. It's easy. No, There no, you have no, no, a, a no. combination of, of all the verbs. The wearing regular and irregular ones combined. Because last time we were we were having them separated. Right? Regular and irregular. But now you got them complete and combined. Because that's the idea that you that you be able to distinguish, but I see that you distinguish them all very well. That's nice. Because you can discriminate which is regular, which is irregular, which is regular, which is irregular. And in the real life, that happens. So you have to make a decision of what verb is regular and what verb is irregular quickly at the moment you're talking. Right? Oh, there are hundreds of verbs, but remember, you don't need to spend energy in all the ones that we don't use in our everyday language. So memorize or study the ones that you know that we are going to be using, right? right. Now, let's go to the questions. Remember, we're asking questions. In the mm -hmm. So you have do, go, buy, work, read, and see. You get the verb, and then you have to ask an information question using that. Okay? Go ahead. A mandarlos un ratito al, al, al grupo. Pero es que hoy ustedes andan calladitos también. Vamos a ver si hacemos tres grupos. Sí. Los vamos a recrear de nuevo. Ah, miren que galán. Cuatro por, por grupo. Colección. Let's join, let's join. Remember, you're making questions, right? Information questions using the verb given. Join, join. Do you have any questions about that? Questions, questions, no questions?
Um, ok. Quiero ver, ahí está Débora y el Ah, qué chivo, nos va a ser bien fácil porque esta es la mía. Ya nos va a ayudar. No vamos a dar copias. Sí. Ok, con do sería, podríamos utilizar do. El do como ver. Es... El do como ver. Sí. Ok. Esta es la clase de ayer. Uh -huh. what, puedo hacer el what what did you do what did what did you do ¿Qué le ponemos más ahí what did you do hola what, Débora hola, what Débora. did you do uh -huh. Me repito. Eh, la... Y ahí solo le ponemos el, el, la, la, las week o weekend. ¿Cómo se llama? What did you do last night? Ah, podría ser what did you do last night. What did you do last night? Sí. Eh, yo dormí rico. Y casi no quiero. <laughs> I imagine. Because of the medicine, right? Me sentí así fatal, o sea, como rara vez, desde quizás, es que hemos bajado también la, la guardia después de que creemos que ya no nos va a afectar el COVID ni nada de eso. Entonces, sin mascarilla, sí. tenía más de dos años de no tener gripe. Mm. Sí. No, yo ahí ando con mi mascarilla, yo no entro a clases sin mascarilla. Ay, Solo no. a las virtuales entro sin mascarilla. Uh -huh. <risa> Pero a las presenciales, no, ahí andamos siempre con el cambio. Perfecto. Ahorita anda mucha gripe afuera. Sí, sí, sí ya. Y, y lo complicado es que, que es bien fácil contagiarse, ¿no? Sí, sí, sí. Ajá, the next question. Primero hacemos todas las preguntas y después sí, las respondemos. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Do first the questions, all the questions, and then you can answer them when you finish. Es más fácil así, ¿verdad? Yeah. El go, eh, podría ser el when, el uso del when. Elmer, hello. Débora, hello. When. Yeah. When did you go? En este caso no. vamos a hacerlo con sí. el pasado. Sí, past. Did you past. go to the cinema last week? For example. Excuse me? Did you go to the cinema last week? Pero es que yo, le, yo les pregunto quién eres, pero no me contestan. <risa> bueno. Usando el verbo give. No, usando los verbos dados. O sea, esos verbos que nos han dado tenemos que formar una sí, oración. Sí, sí. Do, go, buy, work. Una pregunta usando esos verbos. How do you do? How, oh, do, how do you do? Pero a la vez... Then ask a question. Pero a la vez tenemos que escribir la respuesta. De la pregunta que nosotros mismos hagamos. Do you have money, Manuel? Ya no contestaron, no sé quién es. Manuel, ponemos esa. Do you have money? Do you have money? <laughs> Remember, uh, we want information questions in the past. Ah, okay. O sea que el do lo van a usar como verbo, no como auxiliar. Um, have to you, have to you money. Uh, information question. ¿Cuáles son las information questions? What, where. 
Todas las doble Double H. H. When, what, where, why, how. Did you? What did you? In the past? Um, in, in the past, in the past. Y luego acá, ¿me ayudan? Fuerte. En pasado, pero, pero ahí no dice. Allí dice, simple past information questions. Ya vio. Sí, sí, Solo sí. dice que crea una pregunta usando el verbo. Ah, arribita de allí dice. Arriba, en verde, en página oh. F. <ríe> Y aparte que la estructura que estamos viendo es past, right? Past yeah. information questions. What did you do? What did you do yesterday? Mm -hmm. What did you do? What did you do yesterday? What did do mm -hmm. you? What did yes, you? What did you do yesterday? Yes. That's okay. Visit I did. Así sería la respuesta, Miss. I did. No, cuando usted hace ese tipo de pregunta, puede responder con cualquier verbo. I went. What did you do yesterday? I went to the park yesterday. I watched a movie yesterday. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that is taking it. I traveled yesterday. What do you do? Y siempre se tiene que I terminar went, con I went tiempo. to I went to uh -huh. visit family yesterday. Y si yo digo I went to the party, tengo que poner I went to the party yesterday. Sí. Okay. De. De. To the party. Oh. I went to the party yesterday. Uh -huh. I went to the party yesterday. When, va a ver allí, when did... When did go to the visit? Se podrá. When did you visit? No, pero como vamos a usar el, el verbo co. Then, when did you go? To the work. When did you go to work? Sí. ¿Cómo es entonces? When... when did you go to work? When did you go to work? 
I go to work. Request. In past. I was. Did. Acuérdense de usar el auxiliar en pasado, ¿verdad? Yes. When did. When did you go to work? Vaya, teacher, pero ahí... Ahí when me están preguntando. Ajá, me están preguntando. Ah, a mí. pero when, when, no went. When. Ajá, when. Entonces yo digo, I was. Porque me están preguntando a mí. No, I went to work. Porque cuando fue. Mm. Ya usted dice, I went to work. I went to work. Uh -huh. Ahí sí went. Uh -huh. I went to work in the morning. In the Puede morning. decirme la hora también, no problem. No, fíjate, no me sale. Ay, mi, mi hora es muy matada, por eso los puedo matar si se los digo. Puede decir, I went to work in the morning. I went to work at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I went to work. Ah. I went to work. Mm -hmm. I went to work. When did you buy? When did you in the buy? morning. I went to work in the morning. O oh, I went to work. Puede decirme la hora también. I went to work when at seven o'clock. When did you ¿Sí? buy the handbag? Any question? Oh. La número tres, chicas. How did you buy the handbag? ¿Quién está escribiendo? Belisario. ¿Cómo la? Sería. ¿Cuándo compraría? Gua, gua, pero... Clarixa, no traduces. ¿Cuál? Si entiendes sí, sí, la, sí, pre sí. la pregunta, no la traduzca. Sí, sí, teacher. Sí, que estoy tratando de formular la pregunta, estoy pensando. Es que, si, es que mire, vaya, le voy a contar una cosa. Cuando uh -huh. usted traduce todo, a su cerebro lo, lo bloquea para, uh -huh. el, para el idioma directo, sin tener que traducir. ¿Verdad? Entonces, es mejor acostumbrarse a, a, a quedarse solamente con él. 
con las preguntas en inglés. Vaya, espéreme. When, cuando. When did you? When you? When you? No. When you? When you? When did when you? When you? When you? When did you? When you? When did you? Did you? Sí, acuérdense lo que hemos estado hablando. Did you? A, eh, revisen las preguntas que hemos estado haciendo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh, when, where, or when did? When did you? Where, when did you? Sería en este caso, did you buy the clothes? Ajá, uh -huh. when did you buy the When did you buy the clothes? Mm -hmm. The clothes. Entonces, ahí tendría que responder la respuesta para el verbo para responder a esa pregunta, teacher, tendría que ser el verbo en, en, en pasado, ¿verdad? Sí. Ahí. Bow. I bow. I bow. I bow. I bought. I bought clothes. Clothes. Ah. Uh, yesterday I bought clothes yesterday. Ah, uh -huh, I bought the clothes yesterday. Yesterday. I bought clothes yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was sería was was did you por qué día fuiste a trabajar ahí en la otra no sería was did you work una pregunta ajá una as question ah uh, uh, was did you work no what sé si sería bien you? así Where was did you, did you work? Mm, where did you work? Where did you work? Mm -hmm. Así, ¿verdad? Where? Did where? Where did? Where did you work? Where did you work? Sería. Where did you work? ¿A dónde tú, tú trabajas? I... Where did you work? I work. I work. I work. I work. I work. Uh -huh. I, I work. I work. I work. ¿A dónde? In the restaurant. Y... 
in the restaurant. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Or in the office. It's... I work in the office. Sí. I worked mm -hmm. off... on the office. I worked in the office. I work on the office. Mm -hmm. Where did you where did you work? I worked in the office. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Where did you work? I worked in Where did you work? I worked and the next one? Okay. What about the next one? Mm -hmm. What, what else? Next question. Next question. Uh -huh. No more. Bueno, me los llevo ya porque ya va siendo hora. Bueno. Okay. I mean. Oy. A ver. Let's review quickly. A ver, number one, do. What do you have with do? Uh, what did you do last night? What did you do last night? Uh huh. Okay. Question number two with go. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, Manuel. Number two. Uh, who did you go to cinema last night? Who did you go to the cinema with? Oh, okay. That's mm -hmm. week. Con quién? Oh, with. Uh -huh. Con quién fue al cine? ¿Verdad? Who did you go to the cinema with yesterday? Okay. Number three. What about number three? Con bye. When, when did you buy those jeans? When did you buy those jeans? Aha. I bought. When did you buy those jeans? I bought them. I bought them. I bought them, sí, porque jeans es plural, ¿verdad? Ajá. I bought them last, last week. I bought Ajá. them last week. Ok, number Inter four. Ok. Number four. ¿Qué pusieron en la number four? Who... Who did work? Who did who did, did work? Work last week with. Uh -huh. Who did you work with last week? Mm -hmm. Who did you work with last week? 
And number five. Oh, who did you work with? I worked with my colleague. I worked with. Uh, who did you work with? Con quien trabajó? Sí, sí. I worked with my colleague Pedro. Okay. Number five, read. What? What? What did? What? what did read? What did you read? Book. Ah, allí le podemos poner el book antes y decir what book? Did you read? Okay. What book did you read? I read, y me dicen el nombre del libro, ¿verdad? I read the, the, the Odyssey, right? La Odyssey. ¿Tiene que ser necesariamente un libro o un periódico? What newspaper did you read? O solamente what did you read? Podría ser newspaper. también, sí. Podría ser solamente what did you read también. What did you read? I read the newspaper. Mm -hmm. I read a newspaper. Uh -huh. I read the newspaper. I read, uh -huh. I, I read a newspaper. Sí, the newspaper. Leí el periódico. Sí. sí. And number six. Uh, so yeah. ¿Qué escribieron en nombre sí. six? Teacher, el wish no, no se le se puede aplicar sin ti, ¿verdad? Sí, claro que sí. Por ejemplo, ahí si usted quiere decir which, which movie did you see? The Titanic uh -huh. o Spider-Man. Que usted da choices. Cuando mm -hmm. ocupa which, da choice. ¿Verdad? Porque el which es para choice. Entonces, en ese caso, tiene que mencionar las películas para que escojan entre cuál, entre una y la otra. Eh, which movie did you see? The Titanic o Spider-Man? O puede decir solamente what movie did you see? Sí. Mm -hmm. Si ocupa what, no tiene que dar las opciones. Si ocupa no. which, Sí. ¿Qué? Sí. ¿Qué mira? 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 Which movie did yes. you see? Okay, did you see? Which movie did you see? Mm -hmm. Okay, any question? I see. No question. Ya pues, vámonos a la última attendance entonces si ya no hay más Questions. Notice. A ver, Brian. Brian, 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 no stop Brian. Ok, Camilo Ernesto. Present, Miss. Nice, Camilo. Eh, Clarissa. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo. Present, teacher. Daniel no está por allí. Débora. Here, teacher. Elmer Antonio. Present teacher. 
Eric Gerardo. Ok. Eric, no, Eric. Hoy no vi a Eric. No, ¿verdad? No está. Eric está. Guillermo. Guillermo. Ya casi, ya casi, Rosy. <ríe> Isaías. Ay, sí, le creo. Present. Y Beth Elvira. Present teacher. Carla Vanessa. Y Enrique. Present, Miss. Manuel. Present, Miss. Reina Estela. Present teacher. Rosy. Present. Vanessa Victoria, Elvina Lupita, present Miss, Belisario Antonio, present, okay, nice, 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 bye, I recuerden terminar lo que me deben de plata, ¿verdad? Yo voy a... Oh, disculpe, teacher, no la escuché. Si me deben algo de plataforma todavía... ¿Hasta qué, ¿Hasta qué tarea tiene que ser, teacher? Hoy tengo la fíjense, fíjense que les mandaron, un, les mandaron un mensaje que estuviera terminada la unidad 4, ¿verdad? Pero el día de ahora. Sí, sí. Es que ajá, me mandaron un comunicado ajá. que tiene que ser finalizada hasta la 4, un, hasta ajá, la unidad 4, decía ahí. Pero, pero yo no sé sí. si es hasta el día de ahora o hasta la otra semana. Porque estoy atrasado. Sí. Lo dice Tarea. Honestamente estoy atrasada. Tarea. Yo la tres tengo. Sí, no la unidad la tres cuatro. tiene que estar completa hoy. Sí, pero la cuatro. Unidad tres, sí. ¿Hasta qué número sí. de tarea, Ticha? Es la tarea quince. Es que les han puesto tarea hasta la 15. tarea cuatro, okay. pero no, la cuatro la completamos hace un montón. No. Hasta la tarea número quince. Y asegúrense. ¿Unidad de tres? Que... Sí, la unidad tres. Tres. Y ya pueden hacer también eh, la primera dos partes del examen final, ya las pueden hacer, porque esos son de la unidad sí. 3, ¿verdad? Ok. Vaya pues, nos vemos Monday. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. bye, bye. bye. Happy weekend. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye, bye. Take care.